What's up guys and I welcome you all to my channel. You are in the series of fundamental of cyber security and we had seen uh, different types of hacker in the previous session. We had seen this eight types of hacker, right? In this session, uh, we will start, uh, as I told you in the first uh, session that uh, I'm actually following a concrete syllabus of a GTU fifth semester. So uh, let me open that syllabus here for you. Um, so this is a syllabus that I'm actually following. Uh, so the content is basically it's five chapters. So I'm going to cover these whole thing. I'm going to uh, uh, create a complete different playlist on cybersecurity, like from very state, uh, from a very basic point, uh, very uh, simplest point to the advanced, uh, you know, topic. But that is going to be a separate playlist. But this specific course is for GT fifth semester and the people who are, you know, finding different things of uh, cyber security, going into detail and something like that, a theoretical part mostly. So uh, this is for them. Uh, okay. So you see the first topic here we have is a system vulnerability scanning overview of vulnerability scanning. It should not be there as a first part, but uh, that's okay. Actually, we had covered up, you know, basics of cyber security in our first, second, third, I think, uh, session. So it's okay to be have a vulnerability scanning in the in the first part here, because most of the things you, I'm not most of the, but the basic things you already get it right. Uh, so we will see the system vulnerability and then. So by the way, if you are new to my channel, I insist you to please uh, uh, subscribe to my channel and hit like and share button uh, would be uh, really great help for me. Okay, so let's uh, see the system vulnerability. So here is the topic uh, and uh, this I'm with my digital pen here. So this is a system vulnerability here. And actually, you already had seen this definition in our uh, essential terminology session. You can please uh, uh, go back to that uh, session and uh, check that out. What are the uh, essential terminologies we had discussed, right? So this is system vulnerability. You already know what is vulnerability. It's a weakness or a loophole. So for a precise definition, I can say it is an inspection of the potential point. Uh, that pot point could lead to a weakness, could lead to a, a could a exploit or a weakness. Uh, by which an attacker can enter into that system or infrastructure or a network, right? So it is an it is an inspection somehow. So for for a security analyst, a, a term inspection would be reliable. For a hacker or for an attacker, uh, it's uh, it's whole lot of information gathering. Okay, it's whole lot of information gathering uh, for a later attack for a larger scale. So for a security analyst, it is an inspection. For a hacker, it's an information gathering, right? So it is an inspection. So it is an inspection of the potential point of exploit on a computer. or network by the way i'm going to share all these things in a notepad um, maybe i'll share it on um, like megaplot or uh, or any other uh, cloud uh, and i'll share the link uh, in the description check section so you can please look after that uh, so you can get the complete notes uh, like in a written format uh, and i'll share it with you okay so this is the definition and um, precisely uh, the difference here uh, so let me point it out here in a different color so let me take a green color here so for uh, for a security analyst who is working on a company in a company sorry security analyst who is working on a company for for him the w system vulnerability it is an inspection okay he is he's also gathering information but it, it, it could be a, a testing for a system or for inspection of a computer um, so that he can find that there is a problem or not okay but for a hacker but for a hacker or an attacker or a cracker or whatsoever you can uh, specify here. So the hacker, it is nothing but a phase of information gathering. So he is gathering the complete information about the target and late for a later attack. Okay, so it's an information gathering. So I already had discussed you about the vulnerability uh, point. Uh, so where is again my mouse? Uh, so this is 
this vulnerability we already had discussed in our previous session you can please uh, check that out uh, sessions uh, session uh, i think uh, third or fourth again i guess second or third so that vulnerability you already know so based based on the vulnerability there is a vulnerability scan okay and why are we doing vulnerability scanning because to find or to detect uh, and to know that is there any vulnerability in the system or not for that specific reason we have a vulnerability scanning let me also put that point here so uh, vulnerability scanning is another thing so vulnerability scanning it is a process is a process or a procedure uh, to detect and sorry and classify here where is my mouse yeah and classify system weaknesses system weaknesses in maybe in a computer or in network or in other infrastructure you can go ahead with you know as many as uh, resources you are having uh, then also what this scanning uh, also provides it provides the effectiveness of the countermeasure so uh, let's let's assume that you are having some uh, problem right in your computer so for that uh, reason you had installed uh, maybe some kind of firewall or some kind of uh, intrusion detection system okay it's a it's a countermeasure so that no one can attack you no one can hack you so you you had built that protective measure to check the effectiveness of that protectiveness that you had you know build up we have a vulnerability scanning so what i mean to say here is let me open a whiteboard and explain you so here is a sweet little uh, whiteboard it's a good tool for me here taking some time here and uh, I think uh, it needs an internet connection so I'm so sorry I just uh, lost it and uh, by the way I understand I'm taking your too much time here uh, I'm so sorry here we go so what I'm saying here is uh, basically so uh, if this is a computer all right this is a computer and uh, uh, let's say uh, there is uh, there is a there is a protectiveness that you had pulled out this is a protectiveness measure or let's say this is a counter measure that you had put here so this is a counter measure sir what is counter measure well it is nothing but it could be a firewall it's an anti antivirus or ids or something like that access control could be uh, fine here sorry double s would be there but no problem uh, antivirus could be a countermeasure too so, and box uh, would be also reliable here so uh, so these are the countermeasure that you had put in so the vulnerability scanning here the vulnerability scanning will see the effectiveness okay we'll see the effectiveness that how effective how effective are these countermeasures so an actual actual attack will come then is firewall protecting you or not we need to check it right my firewall is very low end and if a attack is happened to my computer if my firewall is not protect, protect, protecting me then it is not an effective uh, countermeasure for me right i need to remove it somehow so to see the effectiveness of the countermeasure we are having this vulnerability scanning sometimes it is also used for that so that's why we are we are putting a point here uh, that um, it it also it also predicts the effectiveness of counter measure of counter measure and uh, you already know what are the counter measure so let me also put here firewall and all so you can you can put it over here right so if uh, you're not having uh, you know these uh, countermeasure then there could be an exploit uh, you know a breach into your system so sir you we understand somehow you know vulnerability and vulnerability scanning i do not know whether you understand or not but i assume that you understand if you do not understand please you can have a, a comment in comment section you can please uh, write uh, the comment and i'm happy to help you there right uh, that way i can help you 
otherwise you can uh, you know just uh, go to the first point and just start one more time you will eventually get the point right so another thing is uh, after vulnerability scanning sir is there any type of vulnerability scanning yes there are two types well there are two approaches uh, take another color here so two approaches so there are two approaches of uh, vulnerability scanning so i'm putting a vs here so what are they they are authenticated which is easy to understand i mean you will get it i mean from the term itself and Un unauthenticated unauthenticated so what is the difference you already know that right so uh, authenticate means a person who is company a security analyst okay a person who is company in, uh, working in the cyber security company is taking the permission from the target that i want to test i want to do the vulnerability scanning in your computer in your network in your infrastructure to see is there any problem in your system or not okay so he is an authenticate person okay he is taking the permission so these are the people who are authenticate vulnerable uh, vulnerability scanners okay so they they take the permission so they are the testers okay but however in contrast to that we are having unauthenticated person who never take the permission okay that these testers perform the scan as an intruder okay who never take the never take the permission you cannot trust this okay so i hope uh, i do not have to write that it's a simple thing uh, so authenticate and authenticated sir is there any uh, specific uh, you know causes for uh, having this vulnerability and uh, there could be any uh, uh, any sign with, from where i can uh, get the thing yes you can eventually get it so i mean i need to take this new section here so let me uh, put those uh, points here so uh, there is a vulnerability type let's say vulnerability type and then uh, there is a root cause root cause and just let me put a cause here and uh, there could be uh, like example okay. these are the things so uh, let's say a first vulnerability type there are actually many types but i'm taking only uh, one or two so the first vulnerability type uh, type like uh, there could be a problem in the system problem in system Sir, what is problem in system could be anything okay and why the why there is a problem in the system let's say let's assume that uh, you got an error like um, like a boot sector error okay while uh, operating your operating system boot sector error comes up why, why this is happening sir there could be a problem in the code in the source code there is a problem and why there is a problem in the source code because it is a very complex code right the boot code is a very complex code so cause is the complexity the complexity of the code for an example bug in the code okay it happens there could be error in the code and because of this error you know this thing happened boot sectors or maybe you just corrupt the boot sector because of uh, you know different things with different configuration you are putting in your computer leads to some bugs happens in your source code i mean in the boot source code and leads to a problem in the system right it's a small example you can take uh, any example uh, when uh, whenever there are things like system flow happens right so this is the thing this is the first example let me also take uh, some more example let's say uh, another code uh, another vulnerability type is could be like a, a missing security component like let's say uh, lack of security component okay lack of security component why sir well see it's a very simple thing you are having a computer you are having printer you're having you know all peripheral devices but what if you do not have antivirus what if you do not have a good firewall what if you do not have a uh, a, a protective measure to secure your network if you do not have that kind of thing then there is a problem right so if a very uh, like if, if you have a big organization you are running that and uh, you are having everything every equipment you are having but let's say you do not have the firewall 
then there could be a problem. It leads to some, you know, security things, could be a hack on your network. So maybe the cause could be like budget, you do not have enough budget, uh, it could be the firewall is very expensive, uh, that could lead, uh, lead to not purchase it. So expensive, expensiveness um, may be lead. So no firewall is an example. It's not only firewall, it could be an IDS or something like that. IDS is like, I mean, it's a software, so we can configure it, but somehow let's say firewall. Uh, so see, uh, maybe it's like, uh, you know, the uh, lack of security awareness, like lack of cyber awareness in cyber awareness in the, in the society. And the biggest problem of this, uh, you know, whole, whole attack and all, it's a lack of cyber awareness, right? People do not have that kind of thing, uh, like generally do not know. They generally see the mail and just click, 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 okay? They never check that is the link is okay or not. You even do not know that when you press on the unsubscribe button, it is actually a pushing uh, link. You never, you know, think about that, but you really have to think about that. But why, why I'm clicking on the unsubscribe button when I can go to the gmail i mean click on the three dot button and from from there you can unsubscribe right you do not have to go to the website and then you need to unsubscribe it it's a very wrong thing to do um, I, I mean i do not have the example right now but let me just complete this lack of uh, uh, this uh, cyber awareness and that leads to uh, maybe uh, you know you ignore many things ignorance you're busy somehow busy and you do not have the time and you just you know click the links do not have the let me click it so it's a business in the nature and the ignorance so uh, lack of awareness and sometimes it leads to like phishing uh, email okay phishing email and the thing that i am uh, I'm, I'm telling you here is uh, this kind of example let me uh, let me show you the uh, email uh, uh, let me just unsubscribe uh, i think you already know this unsubscribe email and gmail uh, so you see so this kind of thing you i think you already had seen um, here you see whenever you get uh, something like this mail it is written too many new letters you can unsubscribe or better yet schedule automatic cleanup <laughs> this this looks like a legitimate thing but uh, you you know you try to unsubscribe it's not a good thing to do you do not know whether what is there inside this link right it, it could be a, a pushing uh, you know a, a kind of pushing link it, it, it can redirect you the land page where some malicious activity had been already you know just waiting for you so it's not a good idea to do it. it's, it's because we are ignoring this thing you just you see and just click it it's not a good idea right so these are the vulnerability type that uh, you know uh, we need to think about it's it's a very small list here but you can go and go on uh, with different types of vulnerability okay so this is the thing that i want to show you uh, the thing is we can discuss also about the advantage and disadvantage so it's a very uh, you know small topic here yeah, for advantage and disadvantage because we are taking a topic we need to discuss about uh, the advantage also right so let's say there are some pros and some cons of a vulnerability scanning so obvious uh, and so what could be the pros and cons it's easy see so what could be the advantage advantage is we can at a very particular instant of time we can look for too many possibilities of vulnerability at the same time okay just one click you scan the whole thing and you will get possible vulnerabilities in your system if it is there right <laughs> if it do not have then it is a good thing so it is quick it's very fast quick fast and um, look uh, for look at possible vulnerabilities so you do not have to go for different things you need to check your browser is there any problem in the browser you need to check your readers like is there any problem in my reader so you do not have to do this it's a manual work but your this vulnerability scanning is kind of platform which gives you you know uh, all scans all scanning at a one time and it gives you the result in a whole um, uh, i mean in the main page so possible uh, uh, ones uh, the second uh, sorry advantage is it's a very afford affordable than that of the pen testing right it's a very affordable affordable um, compared to 
penetration testing. So why this is, uh, I mean, uh, affordable? Well, what do you mean by pen testing? It's uh, it's now another topic here. It's a different thing. See, vulnerability. The difference between here. Let me also take another thing here. So, difference between vulnerability scanning and uh, penetration testing. Also, the, you will see the difference. It's an automated thing. Okay, it happens. It's like you do not have to do like. Uh, you just have to click one time one time click and scan everything just like your antivirus uh, you, there is no manual work at all so it's complete an automated system okay however when you go for penetration testing it's a manually done why manually done you go for many things like you go for uh, social engineering you go for password tracking or you go for network traffic analysis it's a different different module you check for you know it's a, it's a penetration testing so different different modules a long way to scan things it's a big thing yeah definitely the result different the result between vulnerability scanning and penetration testing is a different right you will get a very short summary of a result in vulnerability scanning however you will get a i mean a very vast result in your penetration testing and so that's the difference it's a manually done uh, by a man uh, this uh, vulnerability scanning it will identify only vulnerability only vulnerability okay only vulnerability however penetration testing is you know it's a, it's a it's a king actually you see it's a king why this is king because it not only identify the vulnerability but it will also find the root cause of vulnerability so that's an important thing so that's why we you know we are just running on the penetration testing identify a root cause of vulnerability so that's a good thing right so uh, that is why this is the difference so uh, again come back to our uh, main uh, oh so <laughs> where exactly we are we are in the 11th section right yeah, so this is affordable compared to penetration testing. So it's a, I mean, just want to see the vulnerability, go for vulnerability scanning, do not go for penetration testing. It will take too much time there. It's, a, it's an affordable way. A third advantage here, it's an, uh, uh, so there is a schedule scan. So this is also good schedule scan. What is schedule scan? You can run, you know, scan for week, like for weekly you can run, like you can, uh, monthly you can run so you can schedule that it will automatically scan uh, after uh, after uh, the end of week after the end of month likewise so schedule scans are there and what are the disadvantages well the first disadvantage in cyber security it's a very common disadvantage it's the false positive the false positive what uh, what are these uh, you know true positive and false positive and false negative it is nothing so what exactly false positive will tell you it's a it is something like uh, it will show you that if there is a vulnerability in your computer then the scan will tell you that there is no vulnerability at all okay however there is a vulnerability but it will tell you the false thing it's there is no vulnerability at all or there might be there might be a vice versa case like false positive and false negative if there is a vulnerability then a scan will say you that there is no vulnerability there might be a chance there is no vulnerability but still the scan will say there is a vulnerability so that's a false positive and false negative so we need to think about this also so it's it's an uh, sometimes it creates a lot of problems it's a very big disadvantage actually um, so uh, the disadvantage also says it, it there is it's a good thing i mean it's a good scan but it will never confirm that the vulnerability that this scan had, had find will lead to uh, it, it is possible to exploit or not it will never confirm that so it doesn't confirm a vuln is possible to exploit or not uh, possible to exploit. yeah so these are some of the disadvantages and some of the advantages i hope you understand somehow the system vulnerability and uh, uh, we had seen uh, things like uh, uh, the uh, I'm so sorry. I'm, I start with the eight. Okay, so we had start with the vulnerability scanning, and uh, we had seen vulnerability scanning two types of vulnerability scanning: authenticate and unauthenticate. Uh, then we had seen uh, vulnerability types. Uh, these are some of the types, and what are the causes and examples? Uh, then we had seen uh, 
uh, this advantage and disadvantage and also we had seen the difference between vulnerability scanning and penetration testing i hope you uh, like this and uh, thank you so much for listening me guys and if you are new here then please i insist you to uh, uh, subscribe my channel if you like this video please uh, hit and uh, like button okay uh, thank you so much and we will see you in the next session with uh, a tool of vulnerability scanning thank you so much guys